Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. News starts right now with a breaking news alert. We are following breaking news an active police situation on the Dearborn Detroit border this evening where Michigan State Police have just confirmed that one person is dead, one person is in the hospital, and human remains have been found inside a car trunk. This all unfolding near Tireman and Normile MSP telling us Dearborn Police were attempting to stop a car that was involved in an endangered missing person investigation. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer joining us live right now from that crash scene with more on what exactly happened in a very disturbing discovery. Sarah. Yeah, Amir, this afternoon we spoke to a neighbor, Rahab Jadala, who lives in this neighborhood and saw the whole situation unfold. I'm going to step out of the scene so you can see for yourself right now. She told us she heard the car crash into this house and then she saw two suspects get out of the car. Now, according to Michigan State Police, information just released. As Dearborn police approached this crash, there was an exchange of gunfire between officers and the suspect. As officers cleared the scene, the suspect driver was found dead with a gunshot wound. Another suspect was injured and is currently at a local hospital. But that's not where this story ends. When police opened the trunk of this car, MSP says there were human remains found inside that have not yet been identified. But they may have ties to another out-of-state homicide investigation. I see these two guys come out, they're like, um, you know, the police is chasing after them, it seems like, and the, all I hear is like shooting, and then I go inside because, you know, it's, that's dangerous. Now, there's been some confusion about where exactly this crash took place. So to clarify, on the other side of the street where you see that car, it's kind of dark, but you can make it out. That's in Detroit where the crash took place. Where we're standing right now it is in Dearborn. I also spoke to a couple other neighbors who live in this area just a couple minutes ago, and they told me there's so many disturbing details about this situation. But one of them is the fact that over here, they're not that surprised. They tell me that shootings like this had become more common here. We're going to dive deeper into that coming up at 7 Action News at 10 and 11. Reporting live in Dearborn for now, Sarah Grimmer for 7 Action News. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.